Did you know that only 60% of your work time is actually time spent being productive? I know, that's crazy, right? <laughs> but this one tool that we switched over to last year helped maybe triple or quadruple our productivity time. And so today I'm breaking down our switch from Trello to ClickUp, what went right, what went wrong, and how we are using it for our clients. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, there are three different reasons of why I moved away from Trello and started looking for different alternatives. The first one is that Trello became really confusing whenever I started growing a team and trying to share boards with people. The second is I was missing notifications from clients. If they wouldn't tag me, um, then I wouldn't get notified of their comments and that left them hanging and clients getting disappointed. And then the third reason is because there wasn't certain elements that I was looking for, uh, like time tracking, that Trello just lacked. And so I needed something that was um, a little bit more powerful and robust. And so we decided to move over to ClickUp. Now, there are still a few things that I use Trello for, just like from an internal basis. Um, so if I need to grab a copy, like my bio or just like random stuff like that, I still do use Trello, but now it's more for just like internal um, use of things that only I will need. Now, I will tell you the worst mistake that I made when switching from Trello to ClickUp is the timing. So I decided that it would be a really great thing during the middle of a pandemic last year to switch over from Trello to ClickUp. And so if you have a lot of projects or a lot going on, this definitely isn't a switch that you want to make whenever your plate is already full. Um, and you want to make this whenever you have downtime or it's a slower season um, or you don't have as many projects going on. Um, secondly, I did hire a workflow specialist who helped us set up our ClickUp and it was great. <laughs> uh, I could not have done this myself and they also showed me different ways to utilize things within ClickUp, which I'm gonna share with you today. Um, and so if you can hire a workflow specialist, that's even better because it will save you a lot of time and it's definitely worth the investment. All right, so beforehand, whenever I was using Trello, this is what the process looked like. So it was mapped out. We had every single week broken down from week six, week seven to 11, 12. Um, and then we had a checklist for the designer and then we had a client checklist of things that they were supposed to be doing. And so this is what it looked like whenever we were using it inside Trello. We had a your project board, which all the gray tabs or excuse me, black tabs meant that was stuff that they were supposed to fill out. Um, and so this is what it did look like. So using this skeleton, we um, hired the workflow specialist and she helped us create, so we have what's called a four phase process. And so with Trello, it wasn't broken down into the four phases, we just had it broken down week by week. Now within ClickUp, we have things set up a little bit differently. So we had the your project and everything that they were supposed to fill out. And this is kind of like a welcome video. They're like getting started stuff. Now, whenever we go inside of ClickUp, we have our get started video right here that they can watch, understand how to use ClickUp, how our team uses ClickUp, and you know they can learn the platform by watching this video. Now, this is all of our get started in our project resources. So everything from these two boards, we put them into this getting started section that goes over um, everything that they need to know about our business. So, you know, reviewing policies and then project resources. So all this stuff has to be filled out by the client. And then we have some other resources and then they can schedule their kickoff call with inside of um, ClickUp. So that's how we have that broken down. And then we have it broken down into the four different phases. So our phase one, our brand strategy, phase two, the brand design, phase three, the website design, and then phase four, the launch strategy. One thing that has been really, really helpful is if you can turn on automations. There are so many different automations within ClickUp and I think Trello, it's called like Butler or something. I don't know. It was confusing. <laughs> Inside of ClickUp though, they have these automations and it's great is what you can do is set this up once. So you can see this is called a template. We have saved this template. So if you go in 
to here, you can hit um, template center, and then you can hit save as a template. And one of those things that you can save are the automations. So if you set up these automations, so you can see like on the get started resources, we always have um, myself and the business manager as always watching the tasks so that we get notified of stuff going on in there. Um, but you can set up all these automations once and then every single time that something happens, you don't have to recreate the automation. So that's one thing that has been really, really huge. Um, and so that's one of the biggest things about um, ClickUp, especially if you have a team. We can come in, come in here and we can say if they're working on like competitor analysis. Um, I can estimate the task so I can say, hey, I think that this task will take you two hours to complete. So whenever the contractor or your employee gets in here, they can say, okay, I think that this, they think that this will take me two hours. So they can start tracking their time and they can be uh, watching that to make sure that, you know, they're staying on task and being more productive. Um, another thing that we utilize a lot inside of ClickUp is the labels. So we have different labels of like awaiting client details, stuck, need something, coming soon. If it's assigned to a team member, um, and they haven't started working on it yet. We have an assigned label. We have a working label, meaning that is in progress and somebody is working on it. Done, and then schedule a call. That is meaning for our client needs to go into the calendar and schedule a call with us. So overall, ClickUp has been really, really beneficial. Um, you can track the time in there. You can um, communicate within the team. Everything is so seamless. So I'm really happy with our move from Trello to ClickUp. And if ClickUp is something that you are interested in, I do have a code down below um, to help you sign up and get started with a ClickUp. All right, if you have any other questions about this video or other things that you want to know how to do or uh, want to see inside of a ClickUp tutorial, let me know in the comments below because I want to help you out and create more helpful videos using ClickUp. All right, thanks guys.